yes, yes, people. We are back at it again, talking about herb of the day. I am your brother, Doc Ross Shalom, your herbal biochemist. Some people call me a master herbalist. I'm here at Shalom Health and Metaphysics Store, wanting to share with you this amazing herb that has been used for thousands of years, native right here in America, sometimes over there in Asia. We can use this particular herb to help us with a lot of autoimmune diseases, kidney diseases. And I want to share with you guys what this is. Today's herb of the day, we are speaking of hydrogia. Now the hydrogia root here, um, like I said, is used by the Native Americans as a kidney detox. Um, you can find this in the uh, as a flower, a white flower, produces this really dense chlorophyll leaves. Um, those leaves are actually toxic, so you don't want to eat anything perennial from that herb. That means it's on the outside of the hydrogenated plant. You want to just consume the roots or the rhizomes. Uh, the roots are very, very healthy for us. You can use this as a medicinal herb. Um, one of the main things that this is really good for is if you are prone to kidney stones, um, this will help produce more urine flow. We need that healthy urine flow. We can take pressure off of the urethra. Um, we can take pressure off of the bladder. So people that are going through cystitis or prostate problem, um, I've been talking a lot about prostate because it is our men's health month. And uh, this can also heal enlarged prostate because usually the time there's an infection or some type of bacteria there that has began because of the urethra has some stagnation. So if you take the pressure down with the hydrogia, you also heal up the enlarged prostate. Just a key jewel to throw in there for you guys. But uh, one of the main things I found in 2017 studies, I know a lot of doctors are not looking up this information, uh, especially when it comes to these herbs. Um, this has some very specific um, ways to heal. Uh, I found that this is really good for autoimmune diseases. Uh, those of you guys that have multiple sclerosis, um, type 1 diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, irritable bowel syndrome, this will basically boost up your immune system um, so much that it actually balances things out. So doctors like to give immunosuppressants where they're trying to take away the overreaction of the immune system, but this here uh, has a special molecule that is secreted or extracted from the hydrogia called uh, halofuginon. Now, the halofuginon is responsible for uh, removing or reducing the amount of TH17. This is the inflammatory response that all of the autoimmune disorders are uh, basically responding to or overreacting to. Uh, once the TH17 is produced, it starts to alter the TH1, the TH2, the TH regulatory cells, and the CD4 cells. So you want to keep those in balance, keep those unmodifiable. Uh, you can use the hydrogia root as a tea to help you with all those different conditions. So, hey. Hey. <laughs> so, um, with this um, hydrogia, we want to use this as a tea three or four times a day, and we will see ourselves healed. Mm -hmm.